Evening. Evening. I'm back. I'm back and I'm better than ever. And I'm straight back on the booze. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it, you know, I'll treat you myself, you know, I've gone a month, gone a month, you know, without, without, without a single drop of, uh, of the hard stuff, and, um, you know, I thought after, after 31 glasses of water in a row, I thought, you know, it's time to, to break the habit, you know, it's, it's good to change things up every now and again, you know, I felt, um, if anything, you know, I, I woke up this morning, and I felt a little too hydrated, you know. And I, I felt I need I need to to clog that up a bit, you know. I felt my skin was getting a bit too, a bit too, uh, you know, um, youthful. I need I needed to add a few more wrinkles here and there. I thought me, thought me grey hairs were, were were starting to starting to lose their sheen, you know. And um, I thought my eyesight was coming back. You know, and uh, and, I, and I thought, you know, uh, it's probably about time I I had a, I had a sip, but I've waited till tonight, and uh, you know what? Let's let's do it. You know, this is um live re re reaction um video, so um this is a uh, this is a wheat beer made by a local brewery. Let's have a go at this. Lovely stuff, that lovely stuff. Lovely. That reminds me. It reminds me of a of a home brew I made once. Um, I did. I opened a little micro brewery in the in the wildlife sanctuary, and um, you know we had that going for a while. It wasn't legal. You know, we were selling beer, you know, under the counter. To, you know, mostly to adults uh, and to, to other kids. You know, and some of the some of the youth. A lot of the lot of the local six fours, um, you know, they got wind of it that we weren't IDing anyone. They came round, you know, and they 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 had, they had they enjoyed, you know, it was it was very strong alcohol content. It was, you know, you know, uh, I think it was seventeen percent, seventeen percent beer, and it was um, what we were making it with was uh, well water, obviously, you know, from the spring. But um, but then you know, like we were trying to create like this sort of wheaty taste that I'd I'd experienced and enjoyed in the uh, in in the uh, in Deutschland, you know, back um, you know, in East Germany when I was uh, when I when I was living there briefly, you know, before the Berlin Wall came down, um, you know, and I and I got I got talking to a few fellas there who were, who were making their own wheat beers and. Uh, and I and, I, and I, I took the special recipe back with me, back with me to the sanctuary, and um, and and uh, well, I I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't replicate the same wheat, the same wheat that they had going in in in, the, in East Germany. So, what what I was using was Weetabix. I was um, I was buying packets of Weetabix, and I was sort of stirring it into into you know into barrels, and you know I'd leave it there for for you know months on end and um i mean the result was disgusting but you know the, it was it, it it was it was working you know you know and, and it did the trick and it was cheap to make you know relatively relatively i mean i had to get a lot of the weetabix you know shipped in from from you know from from latin america um and you know, so a lot, a lot of it, you know, a lot of it came with, you know, some of it involved a, somewhere along the line, right? It involved the cocaine trades. I'm not in, in exactly um, sure how that works, but but basically, I, I'd be I'd be buying like a big bulk pack of Weetabix, and it would come, with, you know, sort of in the middle. There'd be like a big block of cocaine. I'd be like, well, I don't want that. Don't want that in my beers. You know, you go oh, imagine, imagine the local council get get wind of that. You know, God, as if it wasn't bad enough having a an illegal micro brewery, but you got a, you got a blinking cocaine trade going on at the same time. Well, well, needless to say, you know the uh, the wheat bits dried up. You know, after a while, and. Um, and I, and I, I focus more on the on the sanctuary uh, side of things, and but you know, 
it's a lovely drop, lovely drop of ale, lovely drop. So, um, you know, it's the future. And, um, you know, thank you to everyone who's, who supported me. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting back into the old habits, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink a glass of water still, you know, at least, at least twice a week. So, you know, ah, uh, who is it? Who is it? Derek, I'm here to get the book still. Oh, it's, it's Peter. Peter's here, he's brought his wine, he's brought his whiskey. Oh, I'm ready for later. He's ready for a party, we're having a, we're having a bit of a party. Little, 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 Nothing too crazy. No, 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 no. It's oh, it's just a, a soiree. We we'll call it. Yeah. All right.